Happy Leap Day. Look, I managed to get to display Leap Day. Which I think it was, we really wanted to flip over because I thought the month was over, but that only happens every four years, so. And yet, I did not wear blue and yellow. And yet, I wore the wrong glasses. More on all that in a minute. My name is Christopher Robinson, and you can call me CRZ. And I'm wearing pink today, although it's not really pink. But it's the pinkest shirt I own. It's actually a, a kind of a pattern. Can you see it? I can't see what I'm doing, so. But it's kind of white, and it's kind of pink. Or kind of orangey. I don't know. In this light, who knows? I don't know. Can't really see much of anything now. But in Canada, a country I do not often identify with, it is pink shirt day. And to symbolize that I am anti-bullying, which for the most part I am. I like bullying other bullies, people who really deserve it, but that's beside the point. To show my support, I'm wearing pink. Because that's about all I can do from way down here in southern Canada. Roseville, Minnesota. What was my point? Pinkshirtday.ca. That's my point. Learn that bullying is bad. So, you can see I'm here today. We did not get the snow we were promised. Or, we ended up getting the snow we were promised, which is not much. It rained a lot. There was a lot of rain. There was a lot of frozen rain. Dave asked if it's frozen raining or freezing raining. And, what did I say yesterday? I meant to say frozen raining, probably, because it's frozen rain, but as a verb. Or did I say freezing rain? It is freezing rain. I don't know where I got frozen rain. Dave put it in my head, I guess. But no. Freezing rain, and it was freezing raining for much of the night. It was actual real raining, because it got warmer and warmer as it went on. The drive home sucked. But now, the, sometime overnight, it did change to snow, and it ended up this sloggy... 10,000 pound snow that you really couldn't get off your driveway. So, when I get the heart attack tonight trying to clear off the front sidewalk, you'll know it was from trying to lift 100,000 pounds of snow off of the concrete. But despite how heavy it was, it was only one inch, two inches, whatever. So when I got up, first thing I did was put on these glasses. And then when I decided, eh, it's not so bad, I'll drive into work. I totally forgot that I had these glasses on and I wore them out. So these are, this is my other pair. This is the pair I had before I got the round pair. And you can see it's very nice and invisible and it has these very comfortable things that sit on your nose so that this thing doesn't put a dent in your nose like the other one does. So I have dents here and here instead. Someday I'll go back to contacts and really shock you. Don't look like this. Except I won't be squinting to try to Focus on whatever. Sounds like I could race away with a hundred grand in the Alliance Truck Parts Fantasy Racing something. Boy, I wonder who I subscribed to to get that. Thanks, text message. How much time have I wasted? Uh oh, four minutes. I haven't even gotten to anything anyone said. Hmm. I did get to Dave Hogg's comment on G+. Freezing rain. Freezing raining is the verb. Now to Facebook with a lovely, talented, lovely, lovely Penny. Told me I was famous. <laughs> I'm famous to about 50 people. But thank you for being one of them. Uh, she likes cashews and almonds too. We were talking about mixed nuts. Specifically these. Great value. Deluxe mixed nuts. Roasted and salted with sea salt. And these are what they are. This is not an accurate representation of the proportion of nuts per kind in here. Take a look. Whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to spill any on you. Almost all cashews and almonds, as I said, which is fine. Those are the ones I like. There's a macadamia right there. Just a couple walnuts. Walnuts, pecans. Pecans. Don't get that wrong. And then very few of these uh, Brazils, but they're so heavy. Actually, I think the least amount is macadamias. Because they're the most expensive. 
And when you're getting Walnut, Walmart brand generic equivalent, I mean, you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting for your 744. I'll just pull that one. So, tune in tomorrow to see what new pimples I have. Mm. So I asked Penny, since she mentioned she loved cashews and almonds, her thoughts on these other kinds. Brazils are okay. Pecans, excellent by themselves and very good in my banana nut bread. Ha, I never cook. Actually, I cook, but I don't make banana bread. My wife does, but she doesn't put nuts in them. Thank goodness. She also makes good zucchini bread. But I digress. Macadamias, yummy in my vanilla cranberry bark chocolate. Good God, Penny. Really? Woo! That is effort. I could never make something like that. Vanilla cranberry bark chocolate with macadamias in it. And sea salt, which I also asked about, is in the cabinet along with probably 10 other kinds of salt. I think you're right. I got three kinds myself. Although, ironically, the kind I really need is the big chunky kind you can put in a grinder and then grind your own salt. Totally out of that. And they don't sell it at the grocery store. And I haven't remembered to go to the spice store, Penzies, P-E-N-Z-E-Y-S dot com, if you're interested, and get their salt. But I do have a big thing of gray salt that I got, ironically, from a place called Saltworks. That's not ironic. I don't know why I said that. Um, their URL is saltworks.us while I'm plugging people. Man, those, those nuts are salty. I'm probably in big trouble now from the video remixers. But there was one recipe that called for gray salt. So on a whim, I bought this thing of gray salt. That's the thing I've had the most trouble using up. And again, it's not quite big enough to put in the salt grinder either. I wonder if, uh, maybe I'll try that. I don't know. I'm out of rice, too. I'm going to go to the grocery store today. It's double coupon day, but I haven't clipped any coupons, so there's nothing to double. But i got to get 10 pounds of rice for sure. Big bag. Because I need some rice. I need some kind of dinner tonight. It's another late game. We had a late game last night. 9.30 Central Time is when the Timberwolves Clippers game started. And man, I wish you did, were able to see that game, fans. Actually, with League Pass free for this week, there's no reason for you not to watch the Timberwolves, actually, if you're on a cable system that's giving you that free preview. But for that fourth quarter, they didn't miss a shot for like ten and a half minutes, and they really pulled away. And after not having a lead, their last lead, their lead was four to two, was the first lead. And then they didn't have a lead again until eighty to seventy-eight. But they pulled away, and they won by like 15, and it was glorious. And again, not really the starters. Derek Williams, Michael Beasley, 27 points each, shooting like ungodly, 80 to 100% in the fourth quarter. It's just amazing. So they're in the same building tonight against the Lakers. I'm hoping, finally, we can beat the Lakers. I hear Kobe has a little boo-boo in his head. Concussions are serious, you know. Don't make light. So maybe we can actually beat them again. And there's no reason Derek Williams won't want to show off for the hometown fans one more time. So I'm feeling good. But again, that game is also at 930. So plenty of time to go to buy groceries to make something to eat. And maybe even get a nap in. We shall see. Now, I had a comment. So I'm out of time already. So I hit the comment on YouTube from uh, Stuart. We were talking about Lent. Oh, that's another comment from Penny. I'll get to that, too. Uh, I was talking about chicken broth being okay for Lent. Stuart says, I was brought up Catholic, sent to Catholic schools growing up, like Edge, a wrestler. Catholics are pretty good at bending the rules when it suits them. That's pretty much how we ended up with Lutherans and those other nutters from the Reformation. Hey, come on now. I'm a Protestant. I'm not a Lutheran. Lutherans are Protestants, though, right? I'll look it up later. I also have it on good authority that the Catholic Church classifies beavers as fish. So if there's a beaver-flavored ramen, you're good to go through Lent. He adds, not a euphemism. Well, no, there isn't. But Penny asked me how the roasted chicken ramen is, and I guess that means versus the regular chicken ramen, I forgot to say. The way you can tell is the chicken has a chicken on it. Please ignore my hair. A live chicken to tell you it's chicken flavor. 
Whereas roasted chicken, I know I'm over, but this is worth it. Has a, a roast chicken on it instead of a live chicken. But you can see there's a rich flavor for the roast one. The roast chicken has uh, some shriveled up, desiccated, we'll assume it's chicken pieces in it. Whereas the chicken flavor, non-roast chicken flavor, has more of the classic ramen chicken flavoring in it. They're both good. Depends what mood you're in. There's stuff falling all over the place. I gotta get out of here. So we'll get to the uh, W comments tomorrow, hopefully. Get in line, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. There's no weather problem, and I'll definitely be here. And I will probably look for more familiar like this. See ya.